just got back from the Southern Invert show, <sighs> pretty tired, um, and this show is very local to me but it still was a quite a trek to get out to the location by public transport and lock everything back, So, but I really wanted to do a, a quick haul video for you guys. Um, I, I went there with a mind to get myself another jumping spider, um, though... Um, Leggy Boy is doing fine, by the way. I just thought, you know, hey, I'll get another one. But uh, I ended up coming back with something completely different. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm going to save that thing till last. So keep watching. I'll just uh, just show the other bits that I got real quick. Um, it's just uh, that's a ficus plant, um, which I'm planning to use for an arboreal setup. Quite a big one. Quite exciting. Uh, yeah. And um, yeah, the guy, <laughs> the guy told me keep it out of drafts, and I proceeded to take it for a fifteen-minute walk in the freezing November winds. But hopefully it'll be, it'll be okay. Um, I got I got some sticks because you, you always got to have some sticks. Um, yeah, useful to have sticks. Sticks are good. They're good sticks. Ah. Um, yeah, just got some little tiny crickets for my quails and my marbled salamander. Um, and I got some dubia roaches, little dubias for banana, my leopard gecko. Uh, yeah. Delicious. I picked up some more dairy cow isopods because my camera won't focus on them. Okay, because um, uh, yeah, these these guys. I, I don't. I mean, I guess there's something they like about the environment that I keep them in. They they just incredibly prolific. Um, so and really pretty as well. So I like getting these, keeping these, putting these in bioactive setups. Um, I'll, I'll just give you a quick look at them. So yeah, so you can see why they're called dairy cows. They've got this really cute sort of white with black spots thing going on. Super cute. Um, poor things have been thrown around all over the place, but they seem okay. A bit cold probably, so they're not very active. But uh, Pop those in with the rest of my uh, the rest of my ice pods. And I got some more silkworms. Probably not going to put any like. Oh, obviously I will feed them, but I'm not going to try and breed these ones because I'm going to probably be feeding these off most likely uh, but they're looking good they don't like the cold either but they're, they're looking good very nice very tasty and they turn into really adorable moths if you see my other videos difficult to get them to that point but if you can it's uh, it's a really cool thing to see And banana things said delicious, so there you go. And these are my new pets. These are violet wing grasshoppers, and they are colossal. Um, just amazing. I, I saw them, you know, you know, tons of tarantulas, millipedes, praying mantises, you know. Well, the usual stuff, and then I just I saw these and was just that is you can't really see their colours very well um, in this light, but they are particularly the males are fabulous. Um, so these are 
apparently the largest species of grasshopper in the world and among just the largest, one of the largest insects in the world, full stop, apparently. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. So <laughs> they were pretty new to... Um, the uh, the sellers were like pretty new to these as well but they reckon that this guy this is the male and this is a female so as these guys as you can see that they're, they're in adults now so unfortunately they probably only have a few months left alive um so i thought i would get a pair I eventually decided to get a pair. I was kind of like, mm, it was kind of expensive, and just get one. And they, uh, they kind of, they didn't want to be left with just uh, with two males. So they said, um, so they knocked a fiver off. So I was like, I'll go on then. So I've ended up with two enormous grasshoppers. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to keep. I'm going to put them in my uh, little rep debris uh, enclosure because apparently they like a lot of ventilation. And yeah, I'm going to try and handle one. <laughs> Hopefully it won't just go bouncing off everywhere, but it's just too impressive not to like see crawling on your arm. Um, so yeah, let's give that a try now. So not not quite in my hand, but she seems happy here. I don't want to like spook her because then she'll probably go bouncing off. But yeah, that should give you an idea if I Wow. Just incredible. So cool. Oh, sorry, I'm not saying very much. I'm just kind of just like in awe of this creature. Let's take a quick look at the um, what is believed to be the male. So here's the here's the male. Or what we hope is a male. So you can see smaller, but um, more strikingly coloured. So apparently these guys like things like bramble and oak and just fruit and veg of all kinds. Sort of similar to, you know, your standard uh, feeder locusts, really. Please don't fly, please don't fly. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> They're quite powerful. And I bet they're pretty sick of being in these little, um, uh, these little tubs. So I'm gonna get, wow, oh my gosh, here she comes. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Look at you. Well. Wow. 
strong lady. <laughs> that was an excellent demonstration of your size and strength. Thank you. Now just please don't fly. Oh, I don't know the way she's wagging back and forth like that. It looks like she's sort of eyeing up somewhere to go. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to try and I'm going to get these guys into a setup of some kind and um then I'll take make a video of that if you like. And um I'm not sure what to call these uh these two, so you know, feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments. Um yeah. Uh <laughs> I really like them. They're very cool. Alright guys, I sorry, I just had to show you this real quickly because um this grasshopper just kind of leapt out of the, the she was sitting on my hand and she just leapt onto this plant and is now eating my new ficus plant. Yeah, just chomping away, helping herself. Uh, which I think is all right. I, I don't think, I think um, ficus is uh, a non-toxic plant. But anyway, I'm not gonna she can uh she can have that leaf if she likes. Stay hungry. <laughs> well she seems quite comfortable. Got to put her away from it somehow. <laughs> I love these guys already. <laughs> okay. <laughs>